Hi, I'm Margaret. Last week, I made these pineapple bump tarts with lemon icing. This week, I'm making a variation of these. I'm going to give it an Indian twist by using rasgulla for the centre instead of the cream. This video is part of a collaboration run by Anadi from his video channel. I'll put the link down below. So let's start with the paneer, which is the basis of rasgulla. I've boiled the milk for about five minutes and I've added one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. This will separate the curds and whey. I need the curds for this, so I'm going to separate them with a sieve and a piece of muslin. This now needs to drip dry. I don't want to squeeze it because I don't want my paneer to turn out hard. Now that it's fully drained, it's about ready to use. Let's break this up a little bit. Now I believe you're supposed to knead it with the heel of your hand and push it gently until it's smooth. My hands aren't very good for this, so I've reverted to a spatula to do this instead. It seems smooth, so let's get it into a ball. Now, one of the things that makes rasgulla taste so good is the lovely syrup that it's cooked in. So let's make that now. This is going to go on the stove to bubble while I roll the paneer. I've been told that these little balls of paneer need to be rolled so there's absolutely no cracks in them. They need to be smooth like that. Now I have to be honest with you, this is a bit of a learning journey. This is the third time I've made rasgulla. The first time they fell apart, the second time they were far too hard, the third time, well, they came out like this. So, into the syrup with them, and the lid on, and these need to continue to bubble for about another eight minutes. Now, I'm not sure if I got it perfectly right, but they came out like little sweet dumplings, really soft in the centre, and tasted delicious. Here's a link to the pastry recipe. I also flavoured the pastry with half a teaspoon of dried cardamom. Now for the icing, which I made in a very similar way to last week's recipe. This time I flavoured it with rose water and I thought it might be quite nice pink. So I've added just a few drops of red food colouring. The icing needs to be quite thick, but just at that stage where it can be poured. There, that should do it. Mango seemed the correct fruit to use here, so I've just whisked it up in a fruit processor and I'm popping it into the base of each of the little tarts. Next, those lovely little soft rasgulla. and a gentle pour of that lovely rose water icing. If you follow the hashtag MyCookingJourney2021, you'll find lots of other recipes based on an Indian theme. So do give it a go. Let's add a few strands of saffron just to finish it off. Then into the fridge to set. Looking forward to tucking into these little beauties. Thanks for watching. Catch you soon.